Well, good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Make sure you check out mygreengear.com. Link will be in the description section, in the description box, in the link, the link tree link. So hit the link on the link tree, link it up. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, NCAA basketball is over. We had, uh, we're, we're done with March Madness. It was the LSU one for the women. But the women's head coach, Don Staley, she allowed some stupid shit to fall out of the hole under her nose. And of course, it has to do with racism. <laughs> God. So allegedly, somebody called her players monkeys and thugs. <laughs> what? <clears throat> she was giving a speech. I don't know if it was post-game, pre-game, whatever. And she's talking about how she says, yeah, uh, members of the media, I hear about it. People tell me stuff. People tell me that members of the media call my players monkeys and thugs behind our back. And we hear you and it's not right. Hold on. First of all, who the fuck calls somebody monkeys or thugs? Who, who says that shit? Hey, uh, come here, buddy. Why don't you tell one of those monkeys or thugs to come over here? I'll toss you a couple clams, and you can bring me one of those new soda waters from the boardwalk. She, <laughs> who the fuck is talking like that? And of course, it's some nameless, faceless person. Look, if you're not going to give us names, shut the fuck up. Because you don't want anything done about it. If you're not going to give us names and tell us who it was so they can be punished properly, you don't really care. You're not really serious. Without giving up names, you're allowing these prejudiced purveyors of press to continue. You're so hurt by it, you're bringing it up during a fucking press conference, but you don't want to give any names. Like you're Miss Bonita Betrayal. I ain't want to gossip, so you ain't heard that from me. How about get better at coaching so your team doesn't get bounced instead of searching high and low like a crackhead looking for anything white in the fucking carpet for something racist? Every, everywhere you look, everywhere you go, you're looking for something that could be misconstrued or twisted into a racist statement. And that shit is terrible. Then uh, one of the coaches of the other team before the game gave her a compliment. She said, trying to get a rebound from those girls is like getting into a bar fight. But between that woman's mouth and that dummy's ears, that turned into something racist. She said, we're not bar fighters. We're not thugs. We're not monkeys. Now, you know the saying, you can't see the forest for the, for the trees? Well, she couldn't get the compliment because she's woke. That was a compliment. She was saying that your team is tough. Toughness is one of the ingredients if you want to be the best or be among the best, jackass. It was a compliment. She was saying something nice, but they can't hear it. If it comes from somebody who's why? then it has to be racist. It has to be mean. It can't be rooted in kindness or sportsmanship. And the saddest part is that that woman probably has some dummies on her team who are going to believe what she says, no matter what, no matter how stupid, no matter how unfounded, they are going to believe it because they see her as a uh, an authority figure, maybe even like a, a mother figure. It's not just the men. I'm sure that there are plenty of girls, of course there are, who come from broken homes or maybe don't, maybe have a shitty mother. So they're gonna see her as a mother figure. They're gonna believe what she says. They're gonna trust her with no matter what she puts in their mind, poison or otherwise. So shit like this, where every slight or every comment is racist. And again, you didn't give any names. So you could be fucking lying. And the people who tell you that, why don't you tell them, hey, 
Unless you give me a name, why are you wasting my time? What good is it shining a light on terrible things like that if you're not going to give us the information necessary to do something about it, to stop it from happening in the in the future? And there ain't shit you can do about it. Let's say it was true. Let's say whoever told her that they were at a party or a restaurant or whatever, they were somewhere and they were members of the media who were calling her team, her, uh, <clears throat> her players, monkeys and thugs. Okay. Now what? Did that hurt you? Do you care? Now, of course, it sucks to hear. You know what? You don't, you're not going to like hearing somebody make racist comments about you. You don't like it. But it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to wake you up in the middle. <sighs> in the middle of the night. It's not going to wake you up in cold sweat. It's not going to keep you from falling asleep at night. It ain't going to do shit. It should be BBs off a battleship. Pew, pew. I don't even know you. I don't even know you so-and-so at the so-and-so chronicle. The so-and-so sun times. I don't even fucking know you. Or, how about this? Coach Don Staley. This is crazy. Some might even call it controversial. But how about you take that, you take that outside energy, you take that, that outside energy, like keep the same energy, you take that, you take that shit talking, you take that racism, that prejudice, and keep it in-house and use it as motivation, what they call bulletin board material, where they bring an article, oh, this person over here at this newspaper says you guys are shouldn't be here. You're not really good players. Your defense sucks. You're, you're soft. Put that up there, but keep it in-house. Use it as motivation. Use it to help you. Instead of getting in front of the world, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The whole world ain't watching no damn women's college basketball. But get in front of whoever's watching and tell them that people are being racist. And even worse, you're letting them know that it gets to you. Even if those people were saying those things, now they know it's, it gets to you. Now they, were, they know their words are reaching you and hurting you. Man, this is life 101, woman. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link. Get your ass over to JerichoGreen.net and MyGreenGear.com. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.